Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're now on phase 2 of the infamous Carthago. And in phase 1, what we did was we cleaned up the mess we started with, established the Fishbone City and we survived the first invasion. So now we're moving on to phase 2 where we're gonna feed the people, build a military fort and just fight off constant invasions. And don't forget in phase 3, which would be the third video, we're going up to luxury palaces. Because why not? Alright, let's get started with phase 2 of Carthago. All right, here we are in basically the second phase of building Carthago. We've established some pretty cool things here, uh, but I need to bring more fish over this side. So you see here, uh, I'm going to put a road there. So there is actually a bit of a shortcut. They're currently walking around these aqueducts, which is uh, well, the reservoirs, which is not so great. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and put two more warehouses here. I'm going to have the weapons set to the furthest one. Right? I'm just gonna set that to getting all the weapons to pick them all up. Actually, I don't think they can do that, so I've just set it to accepting. And set all of the rest of these to getting meat. Because there's just so much meat stockpiled over there that I think we can just bring it all over. And if I can bring it all over to this side, then... Look at that, it's just stockpiled. I don't want to build a road connection because then these cart pushes will prioritize delivering the meat to the granary and they'll walk down here rather than there and that's you know then the boat's just sitting there idle it's just you know and you guys are using the zack god's emote they're happy okay but i want to like keep mars super happy can i keep mars super happy because i'd love to keep mars super happy i'm gonna build some large temples you know and i really want to just have Mars happy. Yeah. That uses up some marble. Not a problem there. How's our military? Military is still coming along. And let me just preemptively put these gatehouses down here so I can plan some stuff. Can I actually fit, like, Mars temples here without messing things up? No, it'll sort of cramp cramp things up a little bit. I could fit some things. No, there's a market supposed to go there. All right, I'll find spots for, for large temples, but I really want blessings from Mars. We just had a festival for Mars. And look at that. Food has actually come in. So let's go ahead and put down another market to, to get that going. How are our exports? I probably... Uh, city needs more workers by 23. Okay, once we feed this area, it should be okay. Meanwhile, I can start taxing people. So let's tax people like that. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty good. Look at that. All this fish is coming in. They're all going over there. As long as we don't see cart pushers waiting around here, it should be fine. And we can increase the amount of fish by building a road over to this side. Building more fishing wharves there. Can I actually fit... A wharf here? I can! Would you look at that? I didn't realize one could go there. Well, that's that's one more, I guess. So there we go. Second market is now taking food. Which is good. And now, we need to get these houses evolved, yes? Didn't you take food? There we go. And I can preemptively get some large statues set up. Like that. Okay. Okay. I wish I would uh, care for gods like that in Pharaoh too. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, I don't really care too much about the gods in Pharaoh, do I? Uh, well, I, I kind of do more now. Okay, so more military is coming in. Uh, there is another invasion on the way, and I kind of want to build walls and stuff, if it is at all possible. But I really should focus on keeping things going. I, I probably should just get like four forts of legionnaires, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put down one more fort here, since it is starting to fill up. There we go, weapons are coming in, weapons have been delivered. 
Whenever the barracks does not have a weapon, we'll just fill up on the javelins there. Food seems to be doing okay. No basic educational facilities. We can put down a school. Let's try and keep things symmetrical here. Huh. 10 wine, 24 months. Okay, okay, not, not the worst thing. So I need to move these two. Mars. Venus. School. And bats. Really, we're one shot? <laughs> um, okay, we, we, can, we can solve that. We can solve that. If I just preemptively put an aqueduct there, and I need to move the reservoir over by one. Did it. There we go. Bats are now working. Looking good. Any chance of a blessing from Mars? Uh, I mean, he's exalted. I would really like a blessing from Mars. It would be handy. It would be nice. Well, I have some plans for building things around my military area here. I might want to build like a, a centralized wall here and try and lure people over to it rather than trying to defend everything. If I could lure people to the wall, it'll actually be pretty good. Oh, we haven't fully restored our legions there. Anyway, this first feeding is going okay. It's going okay. Food is, is maintaining. Ah, uh, we see... We, we just can't bring over enough food. Huh. I mean, I could... Like, shift the actor's colony to here. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> it doesn't matter too much. And I could have another warehouse here. Because the more the better, really. Because it's sort of like a centralized distribution system. And look at that, we actually fed the whole row. <laughs> there we go, that should start bringing people in. Uh, unemployment. Fantastic. We probably should up our... Olive's production. Uh, let's just put another... couple oil producing facilities there. That should be good. <coughs> Nothing's burning or falling apart? No? Okay, that's good. Alright, so now I want to focus on building some... actual defenses. So this road is just going to come up through here. We're going to have a gap of two. We're going to have a road that sort of comes down like this. And it's going to do that. Going to have some houses there. Some houses there. Some houses there. Enemies closing, okay. And we're going to need a couple prefectures and a couple engineers posts. And then I could build... How much is this? That is 200. I'm going to put a single line through first. Right? And just for aesthetic sake, really...
Yeah. Then the wall can just loop all the way around like this. We'll let those people move in first. Okay, so this is like a, a cornered off military zone, right? <laughs> but we can put towers around the outside. Is this how I want to do it? 2,000 people. Tertia Sirenaka had the same idea as I did. How about a box fort, a square around your military? Exactly what I did, huh? I'm gonna shift these over. Right up to the end. I'm not gonna connect it up there because of stability. Okay, so people have moved in. Where did they, those guys come from? Huh. All right, well, 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 well. And then we just make this a two by two wall and then we can have a bunch of towers and try and lure the enemy towards these towers. Right, see what I'm getting at? Food is doing very well now. Would you look at that? Hmm. Don't suppose there's any chance of a blessing here, Mars? 230 denarii? Yeah. Just just have a just have a festival. Ah. We can't sell anything else, right? Can we sell weapons? No, right? No, we can only buy weapons. Oh. Sajuk says, apparently, Counting said that the gods need to be more unhappy than boost to a higher level, otherwise you won't get a blessing. So I have to piss off the gods and then make them happy? Really? So if I want a blessing from Mars, I need to... just delete all this, right? Back to one temple for each. And then he should drop back down to happy. These oracles are sort of keeping people happy. Uh, keeping the gods happy, rather. Alright, so we have this. So now what I can do is I can make the walls double thick. And start putting down towers. What's the measurement on this wall here? Like that. And if I put a tower here, can it have access to... I don't think it can. Alright, we're low on cash. But we'll see if this tower should... It should work, right? Or is that technically not touching the road? Ah, oh, that's not technically touching the road, is it? Yeah. Have to be careful about that. So, that's the actual corner. That might be a bit preemptive. Alright, let me slow the game down here. Let me try and get this right. So, we can put it there, but it would look weird. I'm gonna put it, like, here. And... here. So the corners would look like that. I wish that wall would connect properly. Oh well, that's how it's gonna be. Alright, we'll get those two towers down first. Uh, we could just start... putting a tower with a gap of two around each one. It's not exactly perfect, but no one's gonna see that. <laughs> so we have some towers. We're actually getting a ton of money in. 
So let's just finish up the wall. Let's clear off these trees. Do I need that? To, do I need to go to that tree? I do. Walls can actually do that angled thing. What happens if I do that? It looks terrible. That's what happens. <laughs> if I un... Hmm, that's interesting. If I undo a tower like that, and then it takes the wall with it, do I get refunded for... Do I get refunded for the wall? So this was like one down, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. There's gonna be one it's all it's all one tile off. It's all one tile off. <laughs> if any of you have OCD, you're gonna hate this fort, but Oh well, this is kind of like a stronghold way of playing the game, right? <laughs> it's very stronghold. How's our employment? Are people still moving in? 8%? Yep, yeah, okay. Food seems to be doing okay. How is Mars feeling? He's still exalted. Uh, how do we piss off Mars? What do we... What are they... Oh, it's... Why, why do they shoot the zebra? Why do they do that? Oh, well. I really want to finish this thing. Okay. Fort's done. So now if we get attacked from down here or over here, it'll be easy. We can just lure them over. If we get attacked from the right side, we'll try and lure them over. They could come from here. I think it's... Hmm. Okay. Looks like the zebra ran away. What? We did reset our taxes. We did. Okay. I think we can go up to 6%. It's hard to tell who's buying what, because I think the, the, the natives just sort of buy random things. Like, it's April now. What have we actually sold? 7 units there, 15 units there. So we do sell all the marble to, to exports. It seems like we're keeping... Oh, right, the wine. Ah. Farm. Vines. I think just for now. Here? Where's the road for this? There. Accepting just one. All right, hopefully we can get, how much is it? 10 units in 12 months with four? We should be able to. We should be able to produce 10 units in 12 months with this. I forgot about the wine. All right, so our military's starting to flesh out here. The towers are starting to get manned, which is good. You can see these sentries just, uh, Fiatus Justitius is on the way there. Food has stabilized, that's good. Uh, do I need anything else here? You know, if I actually got rid of like that and had a house here... Oh no, that, that would be possible. That's actually possible. If I change this to a house... And we had a fountain... There. Then we, this center road can actually have access to workers. 
Employees needed. Okay, shot by four. That's fine. Wine is starting to come in. The zebra are being shot. They're not very good shots. <laughs> All right, so these towers... Oh, look at that, they're all moving in. Yes, yes, okay. So this might be a much better way to defend this map because we just attacked from every side, if I recall correctly. But this this method of getting fish over, I think this is going to solve a lot of problems. With this amount of food, we can actually have this whole fishbone thing going full out. So we're just waiting for money. Can we sell more? Maybe if we set up industries near these guys, we could actually sell more. Right? If I set up like a marble industry right here, it would actually be okay. So let's preemptively get this prepared. If I remove all of this, we don't need this road here. Okay, so that road can just cover there. Okay. So once we have a bit more employment, I think I, I have to sort of expand into the new areas here. So I do need to get rid of these trees. Have the road extend out to the same level. Right, that's the same. Okay. So to test this properly, I'm going to set up these two roads first. And let's get the housing down. Does this actually... Do those fountains cover? They kind of do. <laughs> um, I need to bring the reservoir one over, I think. Two over would actually be better. I'm going to bring this one over. Oh, damn. The caravan is in the way. Okay. That was... That's bad. Don't devolve. Don't devolve. Come on. Fountains, come back on. Okay. There we go. So we can just have, like... The fountains go further back a little bit. I'll cover that row of houses at least until I bother bringing things around. And let's rebuild this block symmetrically. So we have that there. What's going on? Does not have access. Oh, but it's because it became a... That's fine. That'll become a 2x2 two two in time. Engineer's post and doctor. And we could have the market go down straight away, really. Shift the temple over to this side. We need a temple to Mars right here. We can get rid of that one. Uh, that should be good. Large statue? Okay. That should help solve our employment problem. We just need 10 people. Look at this. All the towers are now on. Ah, yes. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. So, we're producing more oil. Are we actually... It's October now. Are we actually managing to sell... We have, okay. We could sell more olives, really. We can sell fish, and we do actually have a surplus of fish. But this dock is here. Do ships know to go to the correct dock? Unless I can separate these two areas. If I have the warehouse here. And we could produce fewer weapons. So if I get rid of that. Have a warehouse here for weapons. Shh. 
Should actually set this to getting first. Set this to not accepting. Empty this warehouse, please. And then... Have we maxed out? We have not yet maxed out. Okay, after the next invasion, I'm gonna separate... Ah, oh, no, that, that won't really work either, would it? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to figure out how to sell fish, basically. But if we have two docks and the ship lands here, they won't be able to access the fish. Do, do, sh do trading ships know which dock to go to if the resources are separated? Is it even worth exporting? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, um... Show prices. 36 compared to 140 for the marble, 140 for the oil. It's about the same amount as the olives. And I'm selling olives. But I suppose I'm selling olives because it's easy, right? Six months and we've only got two? Why? Why is it so few? Are the locals buying... Did the locals buy some wine from me? Because we should have gotten more than two units in six months. Huh. Anyway, we gotta worry about this upcoming invasion. What do you guys need? Schools? Bathhouse? Uh, we're gonna need the reservoir coming down. Aqueduct. What's the coverage of water now? We can do that. Having an aqueduct go round would be a pain, right? For s symmetry, I will be shifting these around. So instead, the forum would go there. Okay. We'll have a bathhouse there. Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Why is that tax collector walking out that way? I wouldn't mind squeezing people for Denari all day long if there was a bit more nightlife here. What is he doing? What is he doing? Got to tax the locals, yeah? <laughs> what was that? Okay, he's going to tax the zebras. Also, also plausible, really. Too little. Oh, right. I forgot a theater. You know what? Where did all that money come from? Jeez. Uh, fort. Fort. Legionaries. I'm gonna have four legionaries, two javelins, just to do that. We'll plaza this up. Plaza that up, just because it looks good. So a theater walker will start coming down this way. So, for some reason, the theater sends out a walker even though it's not got an actor, but uh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, we're gonna need, we can now put fountains on this side. That's that's gonna be tricky to deal with, huh? We can get them moving in. Okay, so I can now shift these around. I want this as symmetrical as possible, just for the looks of things. Why did I just do that? That's not... The form's going there, the bath is going here. And I'll shift these around as well in a bit. I could just do it now. 
it's... Uh, it makes more sense because it's easier to get water to the outside. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna get water to the inside of this block. I mean, I could have, it like, a reservoir here. But it'd be so... Mm, it's like, it's not nice, is it? I mean, I suppose if I temporarily do it... I mean, it's not the worst thing. I just worry about desirability as we try to evolve these houses. Right? That'll help a bit. Oh well. I'm mainly worried about this next invasion. We're now getting... Uh, I just got it, damn it. At the same time, at the same time. What's our favor? Our favor is what it needs to be, so it's fine. I guess we can stop stockpiling the wine for now let the locals buy it okay still killing the zebras there's not many of them left just five left in that herd there okay so the fishbone design is starting to work out here i can start fleshing everything out why is that i actually don't need this row of fountains it's just aesthetics i think Right? That looks good. That's what we're doing there. Okay, okay. Alright, do we actually get anything for that? A little bit, a little bit, okay. Alright, so our housing block is now surprisingly well developed. So I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's better than I expected. We got six forts down. We've got this little fortress here, which should prove useful. Now, the thing that I'm most scared of is right here. This is what I'm most scared of. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Ah. Get governor's house for your salary? You actually do not need a governor's house in this game. How did the gardens look on this road? I mean, I kind of like a little bit of greenery here. That can work. How are the gods feeling, by the way? Mars is delighted. He's still delighted. I can't upset him. I mean, I guess if I get rid of a temple to Mars temporarily, he might get up upset having no temples. I will move this temple of Venus to here. There we go. Alright, this is bringing in a lot more people. What's our population goal? 6,000? Okay, I think we can very handily reach 6,000 on this block design right here. Look at that. Pe some people just walk... Look at this. They're like spies. They're like spies in Emperor. <laughs> Walking off towards the natives. Okay. Oh, that, that happens. See, it happens consistently. It happens consistently. Enemies closing. Aren't they at the door yet? Oh no, that's someone else. That's someone else. Okay. So these towers are now established. I mean, it would be cool to have, like, the towers go all the way around my housing block. But that's kind of crazy, right? It might be crazy enough that it would work. Yes. And Ko Ko Koku Ryua just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Koko Ryua. 
Welcome, welcome. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It's actually really helpful. <laughs> you get, you now get to use Zach Gods in chat to tell me that the gods are unhappy. Is Maz unhappy yet? He's pleased. He's pleased. I'm waiting for it to go down to happy, and then we'll try and get him really happy. He has no temples, by the way. He should be, he should be livid. How's employment? Nine percent. Okay, we can just start putting down buildings that we will need in the future, like a library. Amphitheater? We will need this. There we go. Not an engineer's post. Plaza. And we can put down a gladiator school right there. That's fine. I guess we'll keep this area clean. Has a military looking. Almost full on legions. Okay. So we will be using the... Oh, here they come, here they come! Last one was pretty scary, but we've got a lot more military now. Slow the game down. Where are they coming from? This one. Okay. First things first. We gotta bring you over. This one's a little tricky because it's so far from my towers. I don't know if we can lure them. Right, we'll, we'll leave that for a little longer. Okay. How big is this invasion? We do not have a blessing from Mars. That first one, we really did need the blessing, but... Uh, can I... Oh, is it possible to just go into debt for this? If I had a gatehouse right here, and this road extend out, I don't think I can kite these guys all the way. So I'm gonna just try and quickly... Well, I'm, I'm gonna prepare for walls to be on that side. 13. Yeah, okay. Just come on over. So I was told that if you stack... If you stack soldiers... And don't move them... They will actually do better. Is that correct? So we're going to stack all those soldiers on top of each other. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Okay, they're already moving in. Uh, I'm going to have to move these guys back a bit, I think. So I was told to stack them. And they'll actually perform better. Is this correct? I hope it's not the opposite. Why can't I get that guy? There we go. Okay. All right, let's try bring these elephants in. Just as the legions arrive. Okay, okay, let's take the elephants out of the equation. So my soldiers aren't quite here yet, but... Oh, that's too far. Okay. Okay, so I was told that this would work most effectively. They're actually sneaking around. I guess that's the best we can do. We'll just fight them here. 
They managed to surround us, but I think we are actually winning. I think we are actually winning. I think it's actually working. Counting, TLS says, they're not exactly on top, so it's not actually working as intended, but I think we did the job. One guy, Alibaba getting away. Alibaba escapes with his life. The rest of us... Actually, how many did we lose? We lost quite a lot. Oh, that's the... Okay, 14, 14, 5, 16. We actually only lost a handful of Legionnaires. Would you look at that? It worked. We lost mainly Javelineers, but that's fine. Javelineers are free to train up. <laughs> ah, these walkers are still going right on out there. That's, that's fine, I guess. That's okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, did I not put a library here? I thought I did put a library. There we go. Let's get back to our objectives. We're at 3,000 people. Would you look at that? We're at 3,000 people. It's actually going along just fine. How is our ratings, actually? Culture, prosperity, peace, favor. We could get this really quickly. It's actually not, not a big deal. What's the reach of water on this side? One, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna be there, okay. Since we have money, I can just sort of plan out the layout here a bit. That's gonna go there, that's gonna go there, okay. We can get some people moving in here. It's a little cramped with those farms, but we'll move it if, if required. Totally need a reservoir coming through, don't we? I mean, I might be able to mitigate it if I do this. If I did that, and then just had a large statue right next to it, and maybe an oracle or two would be able to deal with it. Right? Prefecture. Engineer's post. Food levels are doing okay. That first feeding took a bit out of the granary, but I think it's, uh, it's doing okay, yeah? Yeah, I think it's doing okay. How is our military? Ah, oh, 3,000 people, there we go. Ooh. The Zack God's emote. Mars is angry. Would you look at that? Well, you can have your large temple back. You can have your small temples back. And I guess we just spam a few of those around. And we can then also throw a festival for Mars. We have wine. Let's do it. Grand festival, large temple, three more small temples. That should do it, that should do it, right? That should please Mars. Uh, so he's now angry, so we're gonna go in the complete opposite direction. Ah, there we go. That's looking good. Money just came in again. It seems like we have pretty much infinite money now. I'm gonna finish up my decorations. Really? Water doesn't reach there? Oh. Well. 
We need a reservoir here, I think. Aqueduct. There's a gap there. All right, that should continue to work as intended. That cart push is gonna have to go around the other way. Okay, okay. And then we have baths. We have a forum. We have the amphitheater. That would actually block entrance. Does that matter too much? I don't think so. Ten oil. You know, I could stockpile that. That's fine. Money is not really an issue right now. Military is coming back online, so that's good. I'm worried about connecting this road up because of the oil supply. Do we even need to get pottery on this? I think we do, right? We need to get pottery down. So let's get pottery going. This is gonna accept clay. It's a land trade route, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. This is going to accept pottery. And what is our current employment? Fantastic workshop pottery. Take out one house there. And import clay. It is a land trade route, right? Yes, 15 units a year. That's gonna start bringing in pottery to there, which will allow us to bring pottery down to this area. Now, food seems to have stabilized a bit more over on this side of the markets, keeping up with food supply. I think generally, yes. Oh, a big bunch just was taken. We'll wait to, to see if we can actually fill up this granary before feeding another area. But these four spokes for housing should actually... It should actually be able to do what we need it to do. Let's get an oracle down. How did we do this? There's a house there. Yes! Grand Festival! Give me that blessing. Mars, how are you feeling? Charmed? Charmed. He's charmed, apparently. Uh, okay, now we were getting these down. We're gonna need one, two for there. Uh, the doctor, we didn't put the doctor down. Let's get that down there. So Mars is feeling charmed. We still have, I think we have enough food to maintain, right? This row of housing is struggling a little bit. I think it's still sort of going through a first feeding since all the housing evolved, right? Yeah. So we gotta wait a little while. Military's looking good. The legions are all filled out. Zebra's still dodging Ballista. That's fine. I don't know where the next invasion is going to come from. If it's here, and now, now that we got two javelin forts coming in, we can actually kite a little bit better and lure things a bit better. Do we need more food coming over here? This warehouse is staying empty. Well, staying not full, rather. Huh. What did I do wrong here? The farm is not supposed to be there. Ah. 
the bath's supposed to be here, the theater, I forgot I didn't put a theater down, and the forum goes here, next to the school, and the library. There we go. Okay, what is our culture rating, by the way? 38, too few academies, okay. So really, the peace rating is the only thing that, that we can't rush, which is fine. I'm gonna try get to the other ratings first. Once some pottery comes in, we'll actually be able to do some decent stuff here. Mars, how are you feeling? Exalted? Okay, so we made Mars angry, and he's now exalted. And I still don't see a blessing coming in, unfortunately. Can I move this around at all? Oh. I need this to start getting pottery. But I also need more fish coming over. Yeah, I need more fish coming over. Uh, how do I do this? Gotta clear that off. Small temple, Mars, we can... Keep Mars going there. We can... One, two, three. Have houses there. Put another warehouse here. Set to getting fish. Just to keep bringing the fish over. I think I only need to feed four spokes. I don't think I need the, the, the last two spokes here. So these are just decorative for now. <laughs> These last two spokes. So we've spent a lot of money getting all this going. Is it at all possible to even fit? Can I fit academies here? I can. How much is an academy? 100? I was supposed to be building a wall here. <laughs> I forgot about this. I was supposed to be building a wall. Oh well, we don't have the money for that. But having that academy there should boost our culture to what it needs to be. Fantastic. Although we aren't close to our population target quite yet. Pottery is starting to come in. I will set it to stockpiling. Because this warehouse is going to have to be set to getting pottery. Let's empty the warehouse first. And then I really should move this barracks to somewhere else. I'll figure that out in a bit. It's okay. Uh, okay, okay, we went a little into debt. No big deal. Our oil and our wine supply has really boosted up here. I think selling olives is actually messing with the uh, the locals. The locals. I, I saw a guy just now. He bought he bought like one unit of olives and he didn't buy the other things. So selling the olives is actually not good because it's messing with the the locals trading. I'd rather the locals buy the more expensive things. If the locals could buy the wine, that would actually be much much better. What is the price of wine? 160? Weapons are the most expensive. Okay. I never really look at things. Am, am I stockpiling oil? Oh, because didn't I get a... There we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Counting tea last notice stockpiling. I forgot I was stockpiling oil for that request. Did I get a notice that I had enough? Oh. 
That's where my money went. I was wondering. Now. We'll get a wall down here. We'll break that road there. And just so we have something on this side. We're gonna have that. Good, good. All right. So if we get attacked from this side, we'll have some towers to back us up, which will be good. Uh, should I just build the wall all the way to here? Probably, right? Now will at least sort of lure them down that way. If we get attacked from here... I want this wall extending like that. So they'll... At least if they're trying to get into my city, I should leave a gap, like, right here. That will at least funnel them in, I think. One, two, three. So if they try and pathfind around... They will pathfind this way into this line of towers. Meanwhile, here has that line of towers. Okay, okay. I think defenses should be pretty good. Don't worry about that. We'll get the money back. <laughs> now that we're actually selling oil. Okay, okay. I didn't set it to export again. Counting TLS. You always catch those. You always catch those. <laughs> ah. Build palaces on the last bone? Um, we do not really need palaces. But I guess I... I mean, I kind of could? Let's bring over the pottery. Food is struggling to, to stabilize here. I need to move my barracks. I guess we can just cut back on weapon production. Get rid of the barracks. Move the barracks right here. Have another warehouse right here, set to getting fish. Because we still have a lot of fish over here. We just need it to be brought over, is all. The close-by markets are okay. This further away market, not so good. We have infinite weapons, so we didn't need that. It's May now. Where's the traders? We need to... We got plenty of pottery, so we just need to bring the pottery over. This market seems to have gotten a good amount of food. Okay, that should help. No one's starving quite yet. We're just trying to stabilize food. Now, when is that next invasion coming? They're at the door. Barrax is working. Yes, we've almost got a full accompaniment here. Hate it when that happens. Now I want to... Like, have a gatehouse here. So I could tower up this, but... Hopefully I don't need it. I'm just worried about the oil supply. Because if these houses start wanting oil, we're gonna need to start... Uh, all the market ladies are gonna walk over that way to grab oil, which is not good. 
Why are you not getting pottery? Can it not get pottery if we're stockpiling? Huh. You can't shift goods unless it's stockpiling. I didn't know that. Alright, we're starting to drop on the amount of fish on this side. So now that we have some money, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break that. I'm going to put a ship bridge right here. That's the only place we can have it. We're going to have this road extend up there. Going to have another couple houses there. Going to have another engineer's post and... No, no, let's not do that. Let's slow the game down. Let's clear the edges of this island. Now, where can I fit wharfs? Can put a couple there. And because of those cliffs there, I can't really fit one there. So we're gonna need this road to do that. This road to come down like that, to hook up like that, to do that. We're gonna need a house there, I'm assuming. We're gonna need a prefecture, an engineer's post. This is not ideal, but it's two more uh, fishing wharves. Just to make sure nothing burns down. Okay, there we go. That will boost up our food production a little bit. Since we are starting to drop, it looks like food is sort of holding on. Uh, I don't know who managed to grab the food in time. Okay, okay. They need a library before oil becomes necessary? Well, I've already given them a library. <laughs> uh, what is our prosperity? 21, okay. Culture is way more than we need. Peace is getting there. Another couple of years and we'll actually reach the peace levels. So there we go, pottery has started to come down. The market ladies are all gonna rush for the pottery. Can't really... I mean... There's no point putting more warehouses down since we are losing total amount of food. Ah! Here we go. Here we go. Where is it from? It is that one. Okay. This is the one that really messed me up. Can I just demolish all this? Because if any of that gets damaged, it'll be bad. Can I shift all of these over? I think it'll be good if they're there. Okay, we're gonna try that. That wall will slow them down, but I don't know if it's gonna slow them down enough. I can't, can I build like right? No, I can't build right next to them. So hopefully that wall s keeps them at bay. Why do the javelins, oh, they're going all over the place. Okay. All right, all right, let's see if we can hold this off. This is the invasion that really killed me last time. Because I built my city right here. I tried to save the initial city. I tried to save the initial city. Alright. They're about to break through. The legionnaires aren't nearly close enough. I should have built more walls. Jeez, this is... Not good. 
but I think we have enough troops to overwhelm them. Damn it, we lost some buildings. I don't even need these houses anymore. Why do I have these? What's being destroyed? I, d I can't even tell what's... How did that come on? They're just rushing right through. Okay, this is terrible tactically. This is terrible tactically, but... I think we're still gonna win. Some of them are still just stabbing walls. Okay, okay. We actually held it off. We held it off. We do not need these buildings. We did it. We did it. <laughs> ah. 9, 2, 4, 6, 9, 10. That is not so good. We needed it to be three thick. Preferably four thick. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Okay. But with no other invasions currently on the way, that gives us enough time to replenish our military so I don't have to worry about military for a while now. That also helps clear this out, but I don't know if I'll lose some of my peace rating because I lost some buildings. I don't know. Oh, look at that, some pottery was distributed. Now they need furniture to evolve further. Right, I could have just built a gatehouse there and connected this area because they need furniture before... Um, they need furniture before uh, oil, so that's fine, I guess. I'm gonna just finish off this wall while I have the chance. Okay. So no invasions came from here, no invasions came from here, and no invasions came from here. I built this fortress for no reason, basically. <laughs> uh, barracks has weapons stored up, yeah. We need to start replenishing our troops. But we have three years, basically. Actually, more than three years, because it takes three years for an invasion to get to you. Unless you're really up north here. If you're really up north, then invasions only get two, two warnings. I will lose peace rating. Okay, hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully it's not too much. So besides that, as these houses evolve, we should be able to boost our population up. These houses are now evolving as well. Fantastic. Pottery managed to get through. Food is stable there. That's stable there. Is food maintaining? I think food is maintaining. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry about that. Are we still killing zebras? Oh, there's only four left in the pack. Look at that. We got one. We got one. <laughs> the other pack's still doing okay. All right, there we go. Our military is coming back online. Fantastic. So it looks like we do eventually just need to wall off everything, right? If we get invaded from here again, this wall should be able to hold them until we get there. We could get furniture, but we probably need extra markets everywhere to manage things, right? If I just, like... Double up on the markets now. While I have the chance. Right? If I just double up on the markets now, that might be able to stabilize things before it becomes too difficult. Did we just bring in more food there? Yes, good. So that will stabilize the three lines of food. So now we wait for all these markets to build up on food. Okay. 
Population. Have all these houses filled out? They have, for the most part. So we're basically at 4,000 people. But that should also significantly increase our prosperity. Peace actually went from 31 to 33. So it turns out we didn't, we didn't lose too much there. I just really want to start feeding all of these areas a bit more stably. With the second market, it should hold the pottery supply okay. This is... Eventually we're going to have to bring some furniture down this way. Uh, are all these fishing? The extra markets will distort how much food it looks like we need. So I'm going to wait for everything to stabilize a bit. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that seems to be pretty good. We've dealt with the next big few invasions. We've started feeding our people. We've gotten pottery into everything. And uh, yeah, that looks like we, we've actually stabilized. We've got these big walls down. Uh, our military is recovering. We lost a lot of troops unnecessarily in that last invasion. But what? We need to solve that. That... <laughs> Replace the mission post. Oh no. Oh no. That is a problem. Alright, and that's the end of phase two in Carthago, and that is a bit of a cliffhanger with the natives starting to destroy my city. But to see how that resolves, you're gonna have to tune in to phase three, which is gonna be the next video and the final part for Carthago, where we're gonna be getting up to luxury palaces and really stabilizing the city. Just click the button on screen right now to join me for phase three. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.